Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to a very long day. If you saw my FNAF news video earlier in the day, you'll know that the headlining story for today was a Into the Pit video game. But as we can see from this screen cap, because Scholastic actually took this ad down after people started to pick up on it, in their 2024 publishing release schedule for all the FNAF books, they had a few extra bonus details about FNAF as a series. They had some highlights from the movie premiere, of course they're talking about the Ruin DLC, the recent release of Help Wanted 2, but they also accidentally revealed that Into the Pit, a brand new game, was going to be coming pretty soon. And like I said, not too, too long after I posted that video, Scholastic actually pulled that ad away and no one could access it anymore. But then as the day kept going on, we got leak after leak for this upcoming game. And now I do just want to make it as clear as possible. Scott has given everyone and YouTubers the okay to talk about everything we're going to be talking about. And then Scott also just released this Reddit post saying no need to keep it all hush hush. It's okay. Yes, I was trying to keep it a secret for a bit longer, but now that it's out, it's fine. The game has been in development for a really long time now, actually, and I'm really proud of the final product. It will be a 10th anniversary game. Now, the wording people have pointed out is a little bit interesting there. He doesn't say it will be the 10th anniversary game, just that it will be a game for the 10th anniversary. But we do know there are plenty of other FNAF games in development, actually, Click Team themselves are working on two right now. One in the Click Team engine that looks a bit more 2D and cartoony, and then one in the 3D engine, Unreal, that takes on a more realistic and dark and dingy approach. So with the release of this Into the Pit game in August, I'm wondering if we're also going to get another game for the 10th anniversary, or maybe we'll get some game crossovers like Dead by Daylight or Fortnite, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Going back to the Into the Pit game, what exactly happened throughout the day? Well, it all started on 4chan, of course, the most reliable website on the internet, where this image was posted and boy, did the community have a field day with this image. And dude, there was just a whole bunch of discourse with this image. It's really hard to talk about it. There was so much back and forth in the community. A lot of people assumed that this was AI art, and it was just someone trying to do a troll, trying to make a hoax. Especially because if you look off to the right-hand side, looks like all the balls in the ball pit are starting to melt together, which, again, a lot of people chalk that up to this being an AI art. Uh, image. Well, eventually, people were able to find the full version of the banner, and it turns out the reason why all the balls look melted together is because in the full image, there is text right there for the game's title. So it seems that to make this square version of Just Spring Bonnie in the Ball Pit, which might end up being the game's icon, I've seen that theory float around, someone on the team probably tried to erase that image using some AI generative, you know, text removal tool, uh, but that's just my guess. But people noticed with this new banner, it is the exact dimensions for a Steam banner, which just led more credibility to the fact that these were actual legit teasers or banners assets for the Steam page. And eventually, people did some admittedly very basic Google searching, and they were able to find a whole heck of a lot of stuff. A description for the game, the creators behind the game, even the full trailer. So because this is all now out in the open, it's all accessible to the public, Scott has given everyone and YouTubers the A-OK -okay to talk about the trailer, to react to the trailer, we, we should have no problem showing you guys the trailer here, so let's go ahead and react to that. This is admittedly a re-upload of the trailer because the original video got privated, so hey creators, if you're watching this and you want me to take down this video, you know, feel free to shoot me a message. We should have no problem. Let's go ahead and watch the trailer. <laughs> now the thing I love about this game is that as you can see, it's got a pixel art style, and my god does it look absolutely fantastic. Full disclaimer, I have seen this full trailer, so I apologize if I'm not freaking out. But look, it's into the pit spring body. And he looks all gadded up. There's Oswald, the main character of the story. Ah, oh, dude, doesn't this just look incredible? There's Oswald's dad. Or you think it hiding in that nasty old thing? <laughs> hey, I forgot about you. Oh, and now things are getting Ooh, we're hiding inside of Golden Freddy. Looks like an unwithered Golden Freddy. Wait, inside the costume? There he is, man. God, he looks so terrifying. This game is going to be insane. Five Nights at Freddy's into 
the pit. And like I said, people are also able to find this description for the game. Fall into the pit and immerse yourself in a new chapter in the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. Oswald wishes his town and his life weren't so boring. All that changes when dives into the ball pit at a rundown pizzeria and finds himself in the past. However, Oswald's deepest desire will have an unexpected cost. Survive five nights of terror in this chilling adventure game. Travel through time to solve puzzles, gather clues, and outrun the threat chasing you through both universes. Move swiftly and stay hidden and you may just survive, but this time, it's not just your own life that's on the line. Oswald's father and five children from the past could all meet their end if you don't save them. So taking a pause right there, God, that sounds awesome. I was extremely skeptical. How are you going to adapt a book into a fully fledged video game? But I think what they've done here is fantastic. I'm getting a lot of Ruin vibes, you know, switching between two universes, and I thought that was a very innovative, you know, brand new mechanic for FNAF that Ruin in, um, introduced. I'm gonna be very curious if there's gonna be other endings for, you know, maybe we survive, but our dad doesn't. No, dad died. Or maybe the five missing kids are also dead, but Oswald and his dad survive. It's a puzzle-solving game. We gotta gather clues, too, which I'm always a sucker for detectiveness. Experience the pulse-pounding adventure of a beloved entry in the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, Into the Pit. Solve satisfying puzzles intertwined with an adrenaline-fueled story. That sounds awesome. Test yourself, or take it easy, in hard and casual modes with very difficulty. Try to save your friends, your family, and escape with your own life. Uncover the secrets in the Fatal minigames. I wonder if that's going to be a play on the death minigames that we got introduced to all the way back in FNAF 2. That's also where we got a lot of imagery for the original Five Missing kids. Discover different endings. There we go. So multiple endings is confirmed. Escape the clutches of the animatronics. So it seems like, much like FNAF 3, there's only going to be one major threat. Dive into a classic horror adventure game in its entirety, packed with agency and Easter eggs. FNAF fans always love Easter eggs, and I'm sure in a brand new FNAF game, there's going to be plenty of those to find. People were also able to find a Jeff's Pizza website, but as you can see, we gotta get a password to go inside, and unfortunately, we don't have that figured out just yet. But I'd assume this is gonna launch probably closer to the game's release in the middle of this year. But I mean, just going back to this trailer, dude, it looks so, so good. I'm a sucker for this art style, I think. You know, sometimes it can be overdone nowadays because people think it's all retro and hip and cool, and sometimes it doesn't work out. But here, man, I'm loving it so, so much. Like, it looks absolutely fantastic. The animations, the art style... The attention to detail in the environments, and the end, like, dude, it looks so good, look at that jump scare, and the mechanics I'm so fascinated by. We get to hide inside of Unwithered Golden Freddy, oh my god, like, it just looks, it looks so good, man. As amazing as this game looks, I do just want to say it is absolutely dreadful the way that this game was, was leaked, basically, throughout the day. My heart goes out to the developers because it has got to suck. I mean, Scott said that they've been cooking this up for a very long time at this point, and to have it revealed like this, that really blows. So, I, I really do wish they get the, just the biggest warm welcome to the FNAF community because... It's a brand new company, Mega Cat Studios, you know, so welcome guys to the FNAF fan base. Hopefully <laughs> things go a bit smoother um, now, but from all the reactions I've seen today, people adore, adore, adore what you've got cooking up for us. So I absolutely cannot wait to play it again. It just, it looks so insane. I cannot express how much I love love this game already just from this one minute long trailer i'm very curious to know if it is at some point going to dip into 3d because that steam banner that looks like a 3d model of spring bonnie but time is going to tell i'd love to know what are your thoughts and theories for this fnaf into the pit game hopefully if this does well we can get some of the other stories and other books made into games thank you all so much for watching this very late upload of fnaf news but hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye and say goodbye to my dog too who's barking